Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at Rock Island Armory Revolvers. These are made by Alpha Praj in the Czech Republic, imported by Rock Island Armory. And this one's called the AL 3.0. 357 Magnum, it's a six shot. This also comes with a stainless model. They also make a nine millimeter model. And now they make 22 long rifle and 22 Magnum. And that is what this video is about. I've always enjoyed that. It shoots really nice. But here we have the AL 22M.0 chambered in 22 Magnum. It's an eight shot and it is a heavy duty revolver. You can see it has the same type of rubber grip, which I think is nice. It has a very nice feel to it. It does have finger grooves in there and some dots, uh, raised dots there which adds texturing but it's a heavy duty revolver 22 magnum they also make this a 22 long rifle now this is an eight shot the 22 long rifle is a nine shot but let's take a minute and talk about that i want to discuss why i went with the 22 magnum here's the 22 magnum here's the 22 long rifle both rim fires most people know this some people may not but the 22 long rifle Travels at 1,260 feet per second. At least this CCI round does. The 22 Magnum is traveling at 1,875 feet per second. So it is a more powerful round. Both 40 grain bullets. And then of course you have the 22 TCM right here. This travels over 2,200 feet per second with a 40 grain bullet. So the 22 Magnum is like a great in between the very fast 22 TCM and the 22 long rifle it's it's a very cool in between now when I review other revolvers for example this one here's a Ruger Wrangler 22 long rifle people said make that in 22 Magnum I would like a revolver in 22 Magnum well Rock Island did that with the AL M.0 most people call it AL 22 M but it does say 0.0 on there. Also made by Alpha Praj, imported by Rock Island from the Czech Republic. Now you look at that full underlug. So it's got some front end weight, raised up front sight, orange insert, adjustable rear sights, serrated black, all right, for a pretty nice sight picture. A four inch barrel, already mentioned an eight shot. Okay, and you take a look in here, and it's got all that we know. There's the forcing cone, the yoke, the bolt stop. There we've got the the timing hand, the firing pin. It's all there, and a beautiful blued finish. Now this is the first time you saw on video the blued finish. The stainless is out there and reviews have been made but this is the blued finish now i chose the blued finish on this one i think it looks great and i think it looks great on this as well let's take a look at that trigger i am measuring it at a solid four and a half pounds in single action which is is not bad you know some revolver triggers you know single action you're looking at between five and six pounds and lighter is not always better, but sometimes it is. It's kind of nice. You're on target. Just squeeze that trigger a bit, and you fire. And then with the four-inch barrel, you know that accuracy should be fine so long as the sights do what they're supposed to. Take a look at the business end. But I mentioned it's heavy. It's got it's got some weight behind it. Let's go ahead and take a look at the weight. Another thing this has that I did not mention is recessed chambers. So when you put that 22 Magnum in there, it sits really flush in the cylinder. All right, and that's another thing that the 357 model has is recessed chambers. And that's nice. That, that to me is an additional feature that you often don't see with many modern revolvers. Two pounds, seven and five eight ounces. Didn't I tell you it was heavy? We moved that to just ounces, 39 and a half. But what I have here are eight rounds of 22 Magnum. Let's see if I can get them to stay on the scale. Okay, I got it close. 40 and three quarters ounces. 
with eight rounds and I've got 22 magnum all over the place here but that's all right you're looking at the you know the 600s mid 600s somewhere in there for this all right I'm going to check again we had a whole bunch of ammo there okay it does have the ejecting rod and uh, you know the full underlug mentioned that you know you're you're looking at no recoil this would be a great training tool small game hunting even self-defense you know if, if you are comfortable with a revolver if you're one of the people who say my comfort level for reliability is with a revolver and you want more than six shots here's eight shots you know i'm not saying it's better but i'm saying it is an option and I do think that these Alpha Parage revolvers are really nice. I, I've been impressed with them. I've reviewed just about every one except for the 22 long rifle. But I do have the 22 Magnum. And I am going to take it to the range very shortly. I've got some 22 Magnum right here. And, you know, it's a 40 grain bullet traveling at 1,875 feet per second. Definitely a nice round. I shot several 22 magnums and i'm looking forward to getting some more ammo to do a thorough range review but this thing is really cool i'm happy with it i love the grip too by the way you know it's the same one on all the ones imported uh, by rock island from alpha project the czech republic and it's got a great feel to it and i just know the thing is going to be really cool if you like videos like this please subscribe and share i always appreciate the thumbs up button thanks for watching and you guys be safe